Hey guys, uh, this is Brian with Sunflower Ammo, and going to do a little bench stop on the new Phoenix TK60. Um, Phoenix has expanded their offering of D-cell lights. Uh, they came out of the TK50 uh, last year, which was a 2D-cell model light, and now they've come out with the TK60 and the TK70. Uh, the TK60 um, is the smaller of the two newer lights. Um, it takes four D-cells and has a max output of 800 lumens. So, um, in a nice little box like this. Um, here it is in the three battery configuration. Um, it can be run in the three battery configuration in case of emergency. But, to get all its rated outputs, it should be run in the 4 battery configuration. So here we have, comes with an extender tube. And size wise, um, it's about the same size as a D-cell mag light or any other D-cell light. Um, so like I said, you load up the 4 batteries. And you have a pretty standard D-cell light. Pretty standard D-cell light when it comes to physical configuration. Um, the TK60 has the same operation as the TK50 and the new TK41 and the TK45. It has the two buttons up here by the head, which on a larger light like this, um, it's really great. Um, you have the button on the right hand side which is your on off function and then your button on the left hand side which cycles through your modes um, the TK40 or the TK60 um, has four output modes it has a low medium high and turbo um, on the low mode it'll put out 10 lumens for 400 hours on the me on, on the medium it'll put out 111 lumens for 40 hours. On high it puts out 350 lumens for 12 hours and on the turbo mode it's rated at 800 lumens for 4 hours and 16 minutes. And then it has two additional modes as a strobe and an SOS. Uh, the strobe mode um, is on the turbo output at 800 lumens and the SOS is on the medium at 111 lumens. Um, its maximum throw distance is rated at 476 meters. And I have a video, uh, the part two of these bench tops. I took out multiple lights. Um, I took out the new TK60 and the TK70 and the four light, the, the four sevens S18. And took them out and ran them against um, a TK40. And as you'll see in that video, um, the TK40 was the lowest rated of the lights I took out at 630 lumens and um, it was rated with a maximum throw of 300 meters and of the three lights I ran against the TK40 the TK60 um, I could really tell the difference in throw distance between it and the TK40 um, it had a narrow beam with a lot longer throw I was really impressed with the TK60. Um, as far as dollars per lumen, um, I think it's a fantastic value. And the fact that it uses D cells, you know, if, if you're like me, you still have a bunch of D cell mag lights laying around, and D cells are always easy to find. And um, really, it's just an improvement on the mag light, really. Um, I'm really surprised there aren't a lot of other vendors that are doing it, um, but Phoenix has kind of jumped in the fray and 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 taken it to the next level. But like I said, I have a part two of this video that shows um, some night shots and comparison between um, about four different lights so you can get an idea of how they perform.